This feels like every time we do one of these calls, we go, blimey, it's been a while, isn't it? It, well, it really has this time. It's... Well, I mean, there's been another long break between uh, the Howard the Duck episode yeah. and this one, but not that long, not not as long as it was before then. So, But now I think we're getting back into it, right? This is this is us sort of relaunching this thing. Yeah, because, I mean, we're on the, the final straight with this now as well, like as in we're done. You know, once yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm this. starting to think that once we're caught up, we just say, look, that might yeah. be it. We might yeah, yeah. release some more later, but we'll yeah, it it's goes. weird, isn't it? But yeah. so this is, we are now officially in phase four. This is, yes. uh, although, you know, as I mentioned on my last call, you know, the three series that we've watched are all part of phase four anyway, aren't they? So, yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, Which is good. Black Widow. I mean, yeah. I mean, can I just ask you first before we begin? I mean, what did you have? What sort of expectations did you have going into this? I'm going to save that because it ties into a point that I want to make at the end of it. Okay. I think it's an interesting discussion, but I think it's one that we should have mm-hmm. at the end of this. Um, yeah. You'd already mentioned that this wasn't released into the cinema, which was very strange because you know this only came out last year. Yeah, um, which blew my mind. I was like, oh my god. Uh, that's like well, I'm kind of caught up now. It's strange because you see, originally it was supposed to come out in November 2020, but then it ended up being pushed back because of COVID, basically. And they were and, hoping I mean, that the cinemas would reopen. I see. Yeah, I mean, do you, do you know about the whole thing with the lawsuit as well? Yeah, you'd mentioned it before. You've mentioned it on the sh- on our calls before. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know, she had a she's had what was it a box office cut? Yeah, and that's it never she, went yeah. to the box office. So and yeah, so yeah, did she win her lawsuit? Uh, yeah, well, no, they settled in the end. Yeah, they oh, my, so but yes, also, so. I mean, Disney got a lot of shit for it because the stuff they said was horrific. Like when when she like announced the suit, they 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 they, they just said, "This is a callous disregard for the horrific and prolonged global effects of the COVID nineteen pandemic." Oh, what and, an awful stance! Yeah. Like, don't take the fucking piss out of your talent. I'm not being yeah. funny, but she has been in so many of these films, and I'm yeah. sure she was paid well like i'm not saying poor, poor scarlett johansson yeah but um but my word she she is such a great character and she's so good at what she does yeah that yeah i mean yeah it's anyway should we get on with the film <laughs> yeah let's, let's do it let's do it uh this is now this is the problem we're recording on a tuesday and i have slept about on average four hours sleep a night since watching this on friday so oh, i don't know what i'm gonna remember I don't know what my notes are going to say. I but... also feel like I want to throw up as well, which is good. It's, Why? Um, well, I think last night, when because we, we recorded the computer game show last night, obviously. We did. It was a Monday. And I was feeling tired, so I drank three cans of Red Bull while we oh, were... Oh, you shouldn't have we done were, that. Yeah. And I woke up this morning feeling horrible. And yeah, then don't now, drink Red Bull. Stop drinking yeah. Red Bull, James. It's shit. Well, no, it was left over from the from the Jägermeister, you know. So it's like, <laughs> but then, oh, okay, fine then. No, sorry, I was trying to just keep awake, you know. You ready to talk yeah. Black Widow? Go on, do it. Put, it's been ages since we sat down to wa- watch one of these, and we're very excited. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything about this film, so let's go. I didn't know anything. I hadn't seen the trailer. I hadn't read anything. Um, mm-hmm. So I was quite excited to see. Uh, yeah, I was. I was, you, I was quite. Oh. You must have had some idea though that it was like obviously like a not a prequel, but you know, like I set. think you'd mentioned that it was set before uh yeah, it was a prequel. Yeah. Um I think you've mentioned that to me before, but obviously it is, even though I forget that uh during this film. But I've got a note <laughs> on it. Are you ready? <laughs> right. Yeah. Opens with a girl on a bike waving at people in the street. Kids are playing, and then I've put in caps, are they going to get dusted? That that is never going to leave my mind, James. No yeah. matter what scene I'm seeing, if it's normal life, I'm mm. thinking we're going to see we're going to see half of them get done here. This is what's <laughs> going to happen. I don't know why they've clearly moved on from that. They've not referenced know, it for ages. They only did it in like two films, didn't they? Do it in and maybe I know they did it a little bit in the TV series as well. Like they, they yeah, did that sort yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Of, but but it's like I'm sitting there and they got like there's girls. Going, hey, oh yeah, whoa, yeah. Hey. I'm just thinking half of you are going in a minute. Like oh, I've well, worked this film in a second, out. In a second, there's going to be a swing that where you know somebody <laughs> disappears, but the swing keeps going. Even they're gone. Like, it's yeah. like the start of Casualty. That one's yeah. going to die. Yeah. <laughs> that one's that one's <laughs> falling off that ladder. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Um, Joe says the kid is Black Widow, but it's not, is it? 
Wasn't she from Russia? Well, that's all explained, so fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Right. Something about bioluminance and some shit. James, we'll come back to that. I do not understand that, and that I'm assuming I've missed something. That didn't mean anything. She was just explaining like stuff in the sky. That was but it. They go back to it. Yeah, but only as like it's a memory with her mother. Or yeah, I, I, well, this is know. this is it. This is the problem. So yeah. I just didn't think that was important enough. I'm thinking, right, bioluminance, right? Okay, what's that? <laughs> How's that going to work into this? Or there's a long word to sling in. That's got to have some that, sort of significance, that, that right? Must be where she gets her power from. That's where she gets like, yeah. her powers from. Yeah. And then when yeah. it got to the end, I mean, I saw the the fireflies again. It was to talk about fireflies or something, yeah. um, or dragonfly. I don't. I can't remember. But I, I remember looking at that and just going. Well, so is she in the? Is she bioluminance? St- what have I missed, Joe? She's like, I don't know, David. And I was like, right, okay. Um, I've not missed anything really. It's just a tiny callback. Yeah, just a little uh, bit. You know, were you moment. second guessing the dad the moment the dad appeared on the scene? Um, in what way? How do you did mean? you think he was an abusive father? No, I didn't think that. Because no. this is set up to be her family, right? You're, it's a surprise yes. when it turns out that none of them are their family, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. there was a bit of a vibe. I know what you mean. Like, there was a kind well, of... When a- he comes in, he doesn't properly go up to her and hug her. He sort of moves her out of the way to get to the fridge. I assumed yeah. he was getting a beer but come out. Come on, we've, we've all done that. Oh, no, no, yeah. totally. But this is a film, <laughs> isn't it? Like, yeah. I, I'm, I, I, just, I just assumed that I've put Dad's home instantly. I can instantly tell he's an arsehole. Um, <laughs> or maybe he's just had some bad news. How long do we have, right? So this is the why they got found out, right, for being yeah. super soldiers or whatever. No spies, uh, they're just spies. Spies, yeah. spies. That's right. They got found out. Their mission got found out, uh, and they had to leave their house. Oh, they're going on a big adventure. Well. I hadn't worked out that they were spies yet. Okay, I don't mm-hmm. know how long this will last, James, but I might say some embarrassing stuff that's hey, really what, obvious. What did you think they were doing then? They just were like, oh, let's just go get, get in the well, car hold on, and go hold for a drive. On. You, you didn't know that he was a super soldier until he flipped the car. No, I didn't know he was a super soldier, but it was pretty obvious that they were spies or whatever. Really? What made yeah. you think that? Because of like other because of TV series and like the Americans and stuff like that, it's this it's it's been well, a like, well-known so, thing. Because TV series and the Americans. No, no TV series. There, there's a TV series called The Americans. There was a whole like okay, you know that her background is like Russian spy background, right? Yes, absolutely. So, and, yes, and there's a whole history of like deep cover Russians in America of like being spies. It's, okay, it's, it's, it's always been. But a thing what about. if you don't know anything about any of that stuff? I wasn't sitting there thinking, oh, the reality, oh, they're clearly spies deep in America. I, I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't have them that pegged. I, I didn't okay, have that okay. clicked. But that's fine. I don't need mm-hmm. it clicked. No, you know, no, it makes it. It's it is explained, it, so it's fine. Yeah, it's explained, and also all you need to know is that they're trying to get away from someone that's hunting them yeah. down. That's fine. That's the story. Okay. Um, oh my god! Yeah. Okay. This is how out, this is how wrong I was. <laughs> so there. So, oh my god! This is terrible. So I thought this film was going to be intensely dark, right? I, right. I, in fact, actually going into it, I thought it'd be a dark film. Mm-hmm. But there was a bit in this where I thought, no, this is too dark. We can't watch this in front of um, Harry because here's what what happens: the dad leans down. And he tells, I, look, I, you're going to have to help me with character names as well. So can you just have them on standby? Because I think I call yeah. uh, Black Widow's fake sister her sister throughout the whole film. Throughout oh, the yeah. whole film, you I know, think I write yeah, down her sister. Her. Okay. Yeah. Um, right, so, <laughs> so the dad leans down and yeah. says to Black Widow or Natasha, she says, we're going on an adventure, honey. And mm. then goes and gets a couple of guns. And yeah. I'm thinking... Oh my god, is he going to try and kill everyone? Like, oh, is what, this like how, a... what the fuck? <laughs> that I know, been, James. That's, that's not very on brand. Like, I know, like I know. I just thought, <laughs> is this like a mass... Is this... What the fuck is going... Yeah, but it's the way he went, we're going on a big adventure, honey. <laughs> Nick pulls out a shotgun, and I'm he like... going to go there and blow them all away, and she was going to oh get god. away somehow. But yeah, then, that, that was I the genuinely thought that's where it was going. Right. Yeah. Um, uh... No, what? loads of guns are now being taken. So when more guns were being taken, I realised that that wasn't going to be the situation. And yeah. then I put floppy disk. Uh, I don't know why I put floppy disk, but this is where it's all sort of revealing, oh, no, they are spies. I think from this point, I'm going, okay, all right, I'm yeah. starting to get it's, it's it now. Not, it's not going to be a horrible, like, incredible... <laughs> no, you know, I agree. <laughs> You're having a go at me on the call because I made you watch this with Harry. <laughs> Jumping on a plane. 
okay, the intro isn't as dark as I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. Although, have, have we got to the title sequence yet? No. This? No, not yet. No, no yeah. yeah he appears yeah. to be a super soldier. Shield her after him. Oh, it is dark. Because the mum got shot, the mum got shot in the in the. Yeah. So this is this is this big um, chase scene. Mum mm-hmm. gets shot. The plane takes off. The dad's on the wing, mm-hmm. uh, and then how does he get? He just sort of how does it leave it? He's just hanging onto the wing, is he? As yeah, it yeah. And takes they fly off. off. And it's. I, I mean, I loved all this. I thought this was brilliant. Like, this, I, well, this I mean, escape. my next note says fantastic opening scene. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. I thought it was. I thought it was um, exciting. I thought mm-hmm. the reveals of um, everything as it was going along was really interesting. I think it all worked very, very well, and it properly set the film up perfectly. I think. Yeah. Um, although it was a little bit more straightforward than, because I'll talk about it now. This is a relatively serious opening, I think. Yes. Like it's quite dramatic, mm-hmm. and then from like after the next bit, it kind of turns into like a comedy, like a yeah. Romp. Well, I mean, especially when they go and get Alexei back, you know, from the prison, and then it it full on becomes like comedy. I mean, the in, in thing, many yeah, the f- thinking about it now, it really is totally different in because it has yeah. a really important point at the end it's mm-hmm. got like some really serious st- scenes at the start and then it's got like this wild comedy in yeah. the middle of well, it it's it's got i mean i've got some lines written down like you know like when he, when he oh says, wait until we get there can yeah, you wait until we get there and then stop me yeah yeah so i've got cuba right there in cuba i put is that ray winston <laughs> Also, Dad didn't seem that upset about the state of Mum. Right, I didn't realise yeah. that they weren't a couple at this point. Black Widow stealing the soldier's gun. I put, she's so gleam, it's not even fair. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, we'll talk about Black Widow as a character later. I think that's kind this, of a summary. Now, you see, the only thing, right, when I was watching this is I was kind of getting a bit, not confused, but kind of like I didn't really understand the timing with this, like when it's set. Because it doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, I now, think, yeah, I think I come. Uh, what do I say? The reason uh, being is because, like, they kind of make out that they're Soviet spies, right? That's that right. From and, and that they, they even like Alexei says like several times he talks about the party, which is like the Communist Party or whatever. Yeah, the Soviet Union had collapsed in like you know way before this, like nineteen ninety one. Uh, doesn't he refer to Hydra as well at one point? Yes, he does. Yeah, he talks. About so that I as think well. it's kind of like he was keeping up the traditions of the Soviet Union rather than maybe. Like, yeah, but it was. Still yeah, I think weird. that's kind of like, what he was doing. He liked the I- ideology of it, I-, I guess, which runs into the themes of what he tries to do. Yeah. Um, it was it was a bit strange though, but yeah. but yeah, no, you're right, you're right. And Jesus, Ray Winston was terrible in this movie. Let's not <laughs> let's not skirt let's not skirt over that. My word. Uh, right, okay. Um, but yeah, Black Widow as a kid stealing the soldier's gun, pointing at him, screaming, fantastic, loved all that. I put her little sister is going to die. I don't know why I've written that here, but mm-hmm. they get separated, don't they? And then get injected in the neck. Oh, that's right. So my prediction for this film was that at some point her sister's going to die. So yeah. it turns out I was wrong, right? Mm-hmm. Her sister doesn't die in this, does she? No, she doesn't, know. No, she doesn't, know. Yeah, but I've, like the build-up and all the stuff at the start, I was thinking her sister's going to die. Uh, right. And that, that's going to be... That, what, you, did you think she was going to die as a child or something then? Like as a, as a young person? Or? No, no, no. Like maybe later on in the oh, film. Okay. Like by the end of the film uh, is what I was thinking. But mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, right. Then you're treated to what is probably the worst collection of shots I've seen in mm-hmm. this film. Not not cinematically, but just real horrible stuff. Yeah, that just that kids stuff. being stolen and Yeah, yeah, the, the whole I, as I was and, watching that, I was just thinking this is actually quite unpleasant like what yeah, they I got tearful. I I genuinely got tearful. Yeah, it's um, it was really yeah, I mean, it was it was well it was well put together, like it yeah. really was, but it was also quite horrible, actually. Yeah, you know, it, was, it was it was horrible. It was yeah, it's it's girls being rounded up and abused. Yeah. like that's what you saw Basically, for the next yeah. like minute or so, and it was like, mate, this is what, uh, um, seeing her put through the training. I put this is really upsetting. The Photoshop Ray Winston photos all look shit though, don't they? Look, I mean, I could have done a better job than yes, that yeah, on yeah, paint. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> they all look rubbish. Mm-hmm. Um, right, she's being hunted. F- for, right, okay, here we go. So this is the point where Black Widow and Natasha is being hunted for attacking or or what they call it, um assaulting the mm-hmm. king of Wakanda. 
Yeah. So this is off the back of Civil War then, That's right? That's right, yeah, this is post-Civil right, War. Right, okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. So, yeah, but they're referring to an incident that happened during mm-hmm. Civil War, right? Yes. They're referring back to the airport fight. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Right, so, okay, so that, fine. That time, yeah. And then Joe reminded me that, yeah, of course it's them because she's dead now. And I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, she is. I kind of forgot she was dead. <laughs> right. Um, her little sister is also badass. So this is when it uh, l- looks like she's been brainwashed and the red stuff pulls them out of it. Yeah, yeah. So this is Yelena. This is the the yeah the sister, and although That's right. not real sister, but you know they grew up together. That's sister. right. She's and, working yeah. with the widows at this point, and yes, then yeah. uh, and then one of the widows pulls that red stuff out, and it snaps her out of it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Lovely bit of microchip removal there. That's where she gets the knife out and yeah. and, and gets the microchip right. Natasha hiding out in a caravan in Norway, bloke in her bed. We all thought it was going to be Cap. <laughs> really? Didn't you? No. Yeah. I mean, I think a running thing with this, and you know, I'll summarize it at the end. But I'm surprised how separate it is. Like, well, I would have liked to have it been embedded a little bit. That's intentional, though, um, because is it? the yeah, no, no. Seriously, they originally they were talking oh, about having um, like like Tony Stark in it as well, and like stuff like that to 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 make it so it fit more in with civil war like that was the thing but then they really apparently they just no they wanted to focus entirely on her really yeah and, and it they should didn't be. want any distractions it, you, you know from i'm that. sorry no that's bollocks you can have you can focus and make do a really good picture where where black widow like that uh, that in itself as an idea is fucking awful mm. it's like well if we put any of the others in it and upstage her no mm. Let Black Widow. Black Widow is a fantastic character. She's been brilliant in every film she's been in, yeah. um, and and Scarlett Johansson is absolutely incredible playing her. Right, she's brilliant. It, she's not going to get out of stage by like Captain America being in this film. Oh, she and, won't. Like, if also, the focus I mean, is on her. You're right because also they didn't seem to care about that with Spider Man. You know, with having like Tony Stark in that. You know, and that that wasn't like a thing of yeah, like that. It's, just... it's it's horse shit. There's there's yeah, yeah. there's something there's something about that that just doesn't sit right with me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought it was a it was a shame actually because it felt like I like I was sitting there going, why is there no reference to Black Banner because mm-hmm. of how close they were? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why is there none of the re- reference to the rest of the world? There's a couple of like lines in there, yeah, but, but it's like throwaway it's... shit. It's very like standalone. This film, though, like it really it is. is. It's, it, it is, and it I don't think really it needed to be. Yeah, I don't no. think it needed to be. Having said that, like, um, we'll continue because I mean mm-hmm. that's a criticism of the film. It, it hasn't like just let's let's continue, right? Um, she's watching James Bond. I don't know why I love that. I don't know why I loved her watching James Bond because well, it's so she she's like clearly the best spy the world has ever seen and she's sitting yeah. watching a James Bond film. It also, I mean, this love. this film though feels more like a James Bond film than any other. It does, like, any, yeah, yeah, it yeah, really does. Sure. Like for sure. Does. Uh, who is James Bond? Asks Harry. I sent him to his room. I'm only the greatest fa- spy that Britain's ever created. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, I, I was never a James Bond guy. Like I, mm. I liked Goldeneye because the game was good, and then I watched the film and I was like, "Oh, this is all for the game." I like that film, so I'm not like a massive James Bond fan at all. But I'd be fascinated to see what Harry thinks of James Bond. <laughs> well, I yeah, think maybe, he'd hate maybe, him. Maybe don't, don't, especially don't watch the earlier ones. No, they, got, got, no that's later. Yeah. That is, that's for when he's a little bit more of yeah. a grown-up boy. Um, oh my, car hit by something. Missile, that got us. So this is when uh, Natasha is in her car and she's driving along. Oh, she drives out of that. She's driving up to the bridge, right? Yeah. And I mean, this was the point of the film where I was beginning to feel like this whole Norway stretch is quite slow and not particularly interesting. Didn't mind any of this. There's but slow like, bits in this movie. Because I wrote that down, and then I wrote, "Oh wait, her car has been blown up," and then that was when it's like it was. Yeah, we all jumped, yeah. um, and then I put, "Uh oh, ghost from the Call of Duty video games is walking yeah. up to her." <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's probably because I was just play- I'd just play- been playing that game that week. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like ghost. Um, she should just cut a hole in the floor, is what I said, because <laughs> she was upside down in a car with Ghost from Call of Duty walking yeah. up to her <laughs> and in exactly the same way as the Winter Soldier was walking up to Nick Fury. Yeah, so why did she thinking, use that little thing, you know? Why did she just <laughs> cut a hole in the floor? <laughs> oh, my God. Of course, there's something else 
in this from that film. And then, is it? Oh yes, there is. Oh, I mentioned that. Yeah, I've got <laughs> Brilliant. The, not not once but twice. It's like yeah, it's... I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Joe was totally weirded out. She was like, "What is going on?" I was like, "Don't worry about it." Right, okay. Um, she should just cut a hole in the floor. Ghost has gone full cap with that shield. There's a point in this where I thought um, that there was going to be loads of these things and they were all going to mimic the Avengers. And I thought, oh, what okay. a great... Because yeah. there's a bit where she's fighting like Cap. Yeah. Then there's one where they're fighting like another one. Yeah, well, that that's also a, th- a thing as well. Like the, the Taskmaster, that character, it mimics the styles of, of the other Avengers when they fight. And is that, that what that, that character thing. is? The Taskmaster? 100%. Yeah, that, that's the name, yeah. And, uh, is I that mean, originally, said in the film? Well, no, it's, I don't think it is. But then also that character... That all the time? I don't know, but that, I mean, that character was not, in the comic books, was not as it is in this film at all. It was a completely different person. Yeah, and, I assume you know, so, which yeah. Was, which was the yeah, thing. they switch things up all the time with that stuff, don't they? But this um, was, yeah, like, the, the fighting styles and everything, that, I'm, I'm impressed that you noticed that, that they changed, that they, they did that, you know, that they had all these different styles that they were, like, using. Like, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I, I think I mentioned it, and Harry, but Harry went, Harry went, oh, look, Iron Man now, when it yeah. was flying at one point, I was, I was like, oh, yeah. Um, so I was expecting like four of them to show up right at the end, and mm-hmm. I thought they'd be. Also, don't patronise me, James. I'd be, what? I'd be pressed. I'd be pressed. You noticed that, David? Oh, I've got you didn't know, you, Come on, you didn't notice they were spies. It's like <laughs> <laughs> good point. Um, Ghost Hud, because we, we get a point of view. Yeah. Camp- What's her name? The Taskmaster. Right, I'll try yeah. and remember because I think I just called her Ghost for the rest of the film. Mm-hmm. Taskmaster's Hud says vials acquired. But yeah. the taskmaster was nowhere near them. That is shit UI. Did you notice that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Point, point of view thing. It just it got, got vials acquired. No, they're nowhere near you. You can't just say acquired. They're You're, over there. <laughs> and you never got your hands on them by the end of it. So you, yeah. who's the idiot? Um, see, ghost. Of Taskmaster opened the case and they weren't even in there. Yeah, that HUD might be worse than Stark's. It was what I put there. <laughs> bit of sass that I put in there. Natasha survived the fall. This is where she jumps off into the water, does she? Yeah, yeah, she jumps off into the water. She survives the fall, then breaks into some house or something, and it's her sister. Right. Yeah. So she obviously knew that that's where her sister was, right? Yeah, well, no, that I wasn't entirely sure because that was weird, she goes, wasn't it? She goes to Budapest because that's yeah. where you know there'd been things happening before, and then yeah, I don't, I don't think she was expecting her to be there. I don't think I that don't, was a. a I thing. don't really understood why they were fighting either. Well, no, oh, well, actually, I, I wrote that down there because I, I get that. That was one of the things I, can I, I wrote comp- down. Can I make a? Can I make a guess now? Thinking cool. about it, the film as a whole. So Natasha f- knew that she was a widow. Mm-hmm. And when she saw her, she assumed she knows that the widows are after her. So yeah. when she saw her, she assumed that she was going to attack her because she didn't know that she'd been yeah, snapped out of it. That that kind of works, maybe. Oh, I mean, what I, was yours? What was yours? I, I can't I, wait to I hear just, yours. I just wrote down: sister fight feels unnecessary, just a chance to show off the fighting. Yeah, oh, right, uh, yeah. okay. No, that's it, isn't it? That's got to be it. That she knew she yeah. knew she's a widow, and she knows the widows after her. So she assumed mm-hmm. that when she saw her, she was going to get a kick. Yeah, but anyway, cracking fight scene. It was brilliant, mm-hmm. wasn't it? It really reminded me of the um, the Kill Bill Volume 2 uh, fight yes. in the kitchen. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I do it's remember a little bit that, like yeah. that. Um, uh, no idea why they're fighting. Well, now I've sort of I've worked that out and explained that to James. Um, yeah, thank, thank but you. it's a high-quality fight, is what I've written. Okay. Is this the Marvel film with the most swearing in it so far? There are tons of shits in this film. Yeah, I mean, usually, I mean, they drop shits all the time, like in Marvel films, but (laughs) not usually that many. But yeah, there's quite a few in this one. This non-stop, isn't it? It's, um, what's her sister's name again? Yelena. Yelena. She Mm. is saying shit all the time. Harry was just like, (laughs) every time she said shit. A couple of times they go, oh, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> which makes me laugh. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah, he goes, uh, I don't give a shit. Oh, <laughs> and then he like looks at us like, like yeah, all right. Um, uh, he, do you know he watches? Uh, I don't, I don't think you're in trouble over this, James, because he watches that Wrexham show. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, there's quite a few f words in that. Yeah, there is. Yeah, it's. Uh, have you finished that yet? Uh, yeah. I just, overall. 
say it's probably a six out of ten. Maybe. Yeah, it's it's not it's not amazing. It's, it's not the but, best yeah. series, is it? Anyway, yeah. um, right. It's no no Sunderland until I die. But yeah, right. <laughs> Talking about taking down the Red Room, isn't that the filthy Mister Grey, the filthy room from the Mister Grey books, the sexy room? Well, and I, Joe, I was Joe confirmed I, it was. So I always think of it as it's Twin Peaks because that's like all of that as what's, well. What's the Red Room in Twin Peaks? Well, I'm, I don't want to spoil it for you in case you ever watch it. I'm never or anybody watch it. else that's anybody else that's that's listening. Oh, well, to let this. me let me ask you: is this, is it a sexy room? No. All right, okay. Well, yeah, in the Mr. Grey books, or was it Fifty Shades of Grey or whatever, that's where he does all his business in oh, the really? <laughs> in the Red Room. Yeah, I've never seen that. I, I saw I saw clips from it, and it looked appalling. Like well, Joe read all the books and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> She's, yeah but yeah, I don't think she enjoyed the films. Um, yeah, so that was weird hearing them all talk about getting inside the Red Room. Um, something comes through the ceiling, but for a moment, I thought it was when the shan. <laughs> <laughs> when the chandelier falls from the the uh, ceiling and only falls on horses, mm-hmm. so this is this is where I think Taskmaster um, j- comes through the ceiling in that house, right? Yeah, because they've been found. But yeah, yeah, if you watch the way it's shot, it's shot exactly the same way as the the chandelier scene in Only Falls on Horses. <laughs> it's like low down, you see both characters either side of the screen, and you see that drop down into the middle of them. I was like, <laughs> it just really reminded me of that. Do, do, you reckon, do you reckon that scene did inspire them? <laughs> oh, totally. <laughs> There's a scene later where um, where uh, Natasha falls for a bar. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Winston's, Winston's soldiers hunting them down. Harry asks why they can't just use the red stuff on them. I don't have an answer for him. Yeah, why didn't they just use the red vials on them there and then? I think it was a bit difficult to get close without getting killed or whatever, you know? Because that's the problem. Make it, it was, a bit uh, obvious then. Make that a little bit obvious. I mean, Winston... they could have. They, I mean, they had the solution at the end, didn't they? Like for how to deal with that. But I don't know why they didn't do that earlier on. But yeah, you know, I can't remember. Been. But we'll talk about that. Winston remote in and kills the soldier. That was dark, right? Yeah. So this is yeah. when they fall soldier off, falls they, down, they? breaks yeah. her leg. One of the worst deaths in these films, I think. Yeah. Because you had that lingering shot of them mm-hmm. on their back with yeah. a broken leg and they've just electrocuted their own head and killed themselves. Yeah, because she was like, I don't want to do this. And yeah. Then, yeah, yeah, that was bad as well. Yeah. I don't want to do this. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Right, okay. That whole these sequence this... I thought was great, though. Like the running across the roofs and all that, you know. And then yeah, the yeah. Whole... I mean, the yeah. action in this film is incredible, I think. Some of the yeah. best in these... Uh, films like it will it's up there do you know what i mean especially not for like a, but away from the main avengers films i'll tell you what I think though, it's incredible like i mean okay we will get to this but there's a there's a bit involving gravity that really annoyed chen um but we'll come to that oh yeah all right yeah. well these are the shittest soldiers of all time right they're just destroying everything for literally no reason mm-hmm. uh because this is when they're just like they're escaping, aren't they? And they're chasing them. You yeah. get a car chase scene. The soldiers are just like just driving just through walls and up. shit. Yeah, yeah, and just like yeah. Um, uh, the action in this is superb. It's just the plot seems to be lacking so far. And I think they address that. I think the plot gets a little bit better later on. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the Taskmaster is now Hawkeye. That's it. Turns into Hawkeye, still gets bow and arrow out, doesn't he? Yeah, and that that was because oh, you see, yeah. through most of the film, I was trying to like earlier on, I was trying to work out like who is this like in this thing because it's going to be somebody or whatever. Did um, you guess it? No, uh, no, no, I no, didn't. No, no, as, as soon as okay, as soon as there's an, an incident happens, that's when I was like, oh, of course it's going to be that. You know, it's it's definitely going to be that. I bet you um, didn't. I bet I, I bet you're one of these people that went on first watch. They didn't know. And then now you'd be like, yeah, I worked it out, mate. No, yeah, rubbish. I, knew I, I, no, I figured it out. I it's, knew he yeah, was dead all along, mate. It was, it was, Didn't it was change his suit, the whole thing. And I thought it was, I thought it was disappointing, actually, uh, who it was. I don't think it worked, but yeah. I thought it worked. I, well, no, no actually, no, I didn't think it worked. But I thought... The ca- it was too obvious. Well, it wasn't, because I didn't get it. But Well, no, but also it, it kind of, like... Uh, this has also got one of the fundamental problems I've got with this film as well is related to that. Okay, so, all right, well, we'll yeah. get there, we'll get there. Um, uh, yeah, so he's... Right, so, okay. Go, uh, Ghost from Call of Duty is now Hawkeye, so he's all the Avengers... Look forward to him being Wonder for a bit. I don't know why I wrote that. Um, I'm sure that's a good quip, good quip. You know, that was a quick, good quip. Yeah, yeah. Um, Wonder. Sorry, Matt. I assume there's more than one ghost 
Taskmaster, and we're going to see a bunch of them together, like the Poundland Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> we just discussed that already. Uh, what the hell? She killed his daughter. What on earth? Right, so this is the scene. Right? This is the scene yeah. this where is the they show the mission. With. Yeah, yeah. They're, right, okay. Okay, right, yeah, so the, the, my full note here is, what the hell, she killed his daughter, what on earth, Winston survived, sorry, why would she do that? I know, you see, this is the thing, right, so she murdered, or a child, right, that's what happens yeah. there, and yeah. like fully, fully knowing that that's yes. what's, what's happening there, you know? A hundred percent knew she was going no, to kill a child, yeah. No need to do that, like, I don't nope. think there was any need to do that, but she did that, right? Now, yeah. the thing is, is it feels, this film feels to me, like, they try and get away with it by saying, oh, but she didn't really die, and it's like, but then, the thing is, is that nah. still, that doesn't work, because the intent is still there. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. The, Yep. You know, to actually do that. And yeah. I get the whole thing that she's supposed to be an assassin and all that kind of stuff. But I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but they're assassins still, don't just go rules. around killing... Like, exactly. Uh, like, yeah, especially... They, I, that's so far against her character. Yeah, exactly. It's so weird. What weird, yeah, it did not work. That did not work, this scene. No. It and makes the absolutely fact that you no then sense. say, oh, she didn't die, or whatever like that, doesn't, that doesn't... That doesn't Don't mean make anything. It any better. She's still horrifically all. disfigured her. Yeah. And then but also said, the intent was there. <laughs> yeah, the intent was it. like, well, she's gonna whatever. Yeah. And she didn't kill like it wasn't even like a guaranteed I'm gonna get Winston here. No, it was a total, total failure. Like, it was a total failure. It was yeah. I mean she didn't even see him. And it's Awful. just like, oh just 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 blow it up. She's you the know. most badass fucking spy on the face of the planet and she's doing shit like that. No, nah, yeah. don't work for me. Don't work for me. Okay. Sister taking the pill out, piss out of Natasha for flicking her hair when she fights. Um, I put some much needed gags here. I quite yeah, yeah. like that. Just yeah, that simple whole, stuff, isn't it? The whole stance thing of like, you yeah. know, when you drop and, down and, and all that sort of stuff. You know? What was fun was that myself and Joe and um, Harry were just pointing it out every time she did it in the film after this. Yeah. And we were like, oh, she's done it again. <laughs> because she does it a number of times afterwards. So it was really yeah. good. Uh, Harry points to. So there's a scene where. Um, Natasha is talking to her fake sister and uh, Harry points out there's a football on the TV behind them and spends the rest of the scene trying to work out what what football (laughs) team was playing. Uh, He thought it was England. So if anyone out there knows what match was on... Do you know, uh, it's horrible when that happens though, isn't it? When you're trying to... Because I've been watching The Boys, like that TV series, right? And there's a bit in that where you see it's like a flashback to this character who's supposed to be from the UK and right. it's like his bedroom as a child and there's all these like posters up of Charlton right but then <laughs> so this got like it's got like these words that say like you know Charlton FC even though it should be AFC and then also there's like a badge on the thing and I was like that's West Ham's that's West Ham's that's <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> it's just it's like takes it out of you know. It's just. I remember. I remember. You, I used to do that all the time with like uh, video games, um, where you go. Well, he's holding a PlayStation pad, but they've put Halo sound effects yeah. over the top, so that doesn't work. Yeah. And then it's like, shut up, David. He's playing a Game Boy, but the game's not in the back. That was another classic one. Yeah, yeah, they did that all the um, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, okay. Uh, uh, where are we? Catching up scene. What's that? Catching up scene. I don't know what that means. Harry keeps laughing every time the word shit is used. It's used <laughs> a lot. Okay, fine. So this is yo, know, this is the bit where Natasha and his si- uh, fake sister are catching up mm-hmm. on what's happened. They're drinking beer, aren't they, in that calf yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Good relationship. I quite like this relationship here. Uh, they were really... Uh, the way they're talking to each other felt really genuine, quite nice and bouncy. Yeah. It, was, it was a good few scenes, this. Especially that whole thing of, like, you know, like saying, you know, what, you know, what she thought that her sister would be doing and all that kind of thing. You know, it's like, I imagine that you're, you know, you're a teacher or whatever doing this. And like, yeah, you know, you've got like boyfriend who fixes up houses and all that sort of stuff. It's- <laughs> yeah. I liked all that stuff. I thought it was great. Yeah. Uh, so they, they know that they need to go to the red room uh, to get Winston, to take Winston down. What's Winston's yeah. character's name? Uh, Drake. Is it Drake off? I think it's, Oh, is it not got a, like a cool yeah, uh, drag guy name? No, no, it's, it's Drake off. Although apparently oh. it means, I think it means, like it actually means the shit. I think in okay like, the shit the slang. Let's call him yeah. shithead. Yeah. So you go and take down shithead. Um, and then uh, so Stick they're flying out. 
They're for, okay, right, I'll stick with Winston. Flying out to see someone who might know where the red room is. And calls cut to the dad in the prison. Yeah. But all of a sudden is a brilliant character. Like went from being a bit of a sap at the start of the yeah. film to oh my <laughs> god, you are every scene you're in is brilliant. Like yeah. I, I really like this character. In fact, actually, I like the whole family. I think mm-hmm. oh, ge- genuinely, I think that was really well done. Yeah. I liked, yeah, the relationship between Black Widow and the sister and the mum and the the the, the dad. I, I I thought it was very very good. Mm-hmm. Um, although when he broke that other person's arm, that was a bit yeah, grim. Was, it was pretty grim. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's because I mean, it, it kind of was calling him out as well for bullshit because it was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, breaking him out of prison. Why aren't they shooting at the helicopter? I'll yeah. Tell you it's what. A t- I'll tell you what, pl- watching this, I was I, the, what I've written down here, I've got the prison escape and getting Alexi. This is all very cod. Like, it really felt like watching like a Call of Duty thing, this did, this bit. But, but it was also nonsense, because it was like, you're a, you're a prison in mm-hmm. the middle of nowhere. There's an unauthorised helicopter overhead. Yeah. Why are you just letting it be there? Yeah. Why, didn't, why-, why did they only start shooting at it once... Like, the, the dad was hanging off of it. Like, why it didn't was, they do that yeah, sooner? Although I mean, I've, I mean, I've written down here as well. Though film picks up when Alexi arrives, it finally adds some humour that lands. Yeah, so that's, totally. I think it really did. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, Alexi is his name, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we or can't say Guardian. that too much. Like people's a the Red Guardian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love all that. Right, breaking yeah. them out of prison. Why aren't they shooting the helicopter? And the Chester jumps down and poses. I love her. Um, oh, they did, and it just wobbled a bit. That's what happened when they sh- <laughs> when they were shooting at the thing. <laughs> Right, sister uses a rocket launcher, calls an avalanche. This is great. This scene looked incredible, by the yep. way. It mm-hmm. looks really fucking good, doesn't it? When the snow comes down, all of the... Yeah, it, it, I just thought it was beautiful to look at, the, the, this scene. It, it, mm-hmm. it was great. Um, we all just kept saying how cool Natasha is, because she just, again, is... Joe just kept going, she's so cool. And like, yeah. Harry's like, she's just the coolest. I was like, yeah, yeah. she is. She's easily the coolest Avenger, without I- a shadow of a doubt. But I thought Yelena was great as well. I thought she yeah. was really good in this. She was you know? great too, but yeah. this wasn't Natasha. The, the <laughs> scene looked absolutely incredible. Great stuff. The dad was was a super soldier, but yeah. did some nothing mission in Ohio and then got banged up. Yeah, um, We'll make it. Oh, that, that's it. Yeah, that was a good joke where they were saying, oh, we need to go to such and such. I can't remember where it was. Mm-hmm. We need to go here. Oh, I don't know if we've got enough uh, petrol for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make it. Next yeah. scene, helicopter crashing. Just, I mean, I love cut twos. I, I always make me laugh, and this was a good one. Um, I'm loving these scenes with the dad, to be fair. It's all pretty funny, even if it is dark. That, yeah, because it's. That's where I got the lines I wrote down because I just I thought on. they were great. Like because you Let's know he go. was like trying to build a relationship with them or whatever. And then, <laughs> yeah, and he was he was like he was like I'm so proud, the greatest child assassin the world has ever known. And then he's like, but you know, you both have killed so many people. I couldn't be more proud of you. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all that stuff was great. Um, yeah. And then they meet the mum on the pig farm. Right, okay. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. This got the biggest laugh. Do you know what I'm going to be? You, you know what got the biggest laugh in this film from this family. Him, him putting the suit on? Yeah, we were creasing up while he was I, doing that. I, I've written down for that, Alexi putting on the suit. This is me before any formal event. Like, we're <laughs> up to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was me putting on the suit for the first time after lockdown. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. right, um, you used okay. to fit. <laughs> yeah, trying to get into his old Red Guardian costume. Yeah. Honestly, I thought it would look worse when he actually managed to get it on. Didn't you? Yeah. When he yeah. walked out, yeah. I was like, actually, that kind of fits be, you. I thought there'd be more stuff spilling out. You like, <laughs> yeah, so it's it's same here. Same here. Right, okay. Um, uh, I like the family around the table scene. There's some good gags here. Uh, I didn't like she that bit named... the pig though. That was uncom- That made me feel uncomfortable. Right. Okay. It's right. Yeah. So she named the pig after the dad. She named the pig Lexi. Yeah. Um, and yeah, no, you're right. This scene where she then commands the pig to stop breathing, mm. and you could see it going. <clears throat> yeah, hated that. Hated it. Yeah. Just horrible. Oh, here's a bit where you talk to her in a pig. Great. This is horrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah, it I went did. on for ages as well. That was the worst thing about it. It was just, it was really horrible. Did. I didn't like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, explaining about the controlling living things, right? So this is all the stuff that leads into eventually what's going on around the world. Um, pig not breathing, right? Shostakov is a great character. Who's that? Shostakov. Shostakov. Hold on. 
Have I just written? Or is it? What or is it Vostokov? Is that who's who's that? Oh no, Shostakov. No, 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 Alexei Shostakov. That's that's the Red Guardian. Oh right, that's, okay, that's the Red yeah. Guardian. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Fine. They must have said it at that point, and I've written it down. Talking about his dad pissing on his hands to stave off yeah. frostbite. Yeah. He's just so funny. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, and then <laughs> yeah. N- now singing American Pie. Uh, yeah. Lights coming on made me jump. This was, I knew something bad was going to happen. It was one of those where it was too quiet yeah. and too, yeah. And then all of a sudden, the, those huge floodlights come on. Harry just said, Every time a song happens, something bad happens. I don't know, I don't know where he made that <laughs> observation, but, but he picked up on that. Um, oh, the, again, the Guard, Red Guardian getting hit by the darts. Yeah. Excellent yeah. gag. Yeah, <laughs> he gets hit by one. <laughs> That's never gonna hurt. And then there's about forty of them yeah. come and hit him, <laughs> like really fast. <laughs> really, like, really yeah. obvious joke, like yeah. a really blatant joke. I'm sure that's done in cartoons a million times. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, still really funny. Worked here. Um, okay. Uh, of course, the mum grasps them up. Why should? Why wouldn't she? Mm-hmm. That is what I've put in because she was working for Winston at the time. Winston accent is awful in this. It's not as bad as it was in The Departed, but it's still pretty terrible, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's it's not great. I mean, his character isn't really that great, is it? It's there's no there's no real sort of depth there. I didn't think which was a there's no depth. There's no depth, but I loved it when he got beaten. So it did something. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, like like some of them, you just go, oh, okay, just beat him. Whereas in this one, I was like, "Fuck, can you smash his face in?" Um, well, because I mean, that was the thing. I mean, I say there's no depth, but he was just irredeemably horrible. Like yeah, you know, there was, just, there's yeah. nothing there at all. Nothing about him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cutting brains out, controlling Natasha. All right, okay. So this is the bit where they get captured. They're mm-hmm. all in the uh, in the cells. Well, um, the the sisters just about to get her brain cut open for some reason. Oh, yeah. they were just trying to work out what this stuff was that helped her and snapped mm-hmm. her out of it. Um, Oh my god, she's using that mesh face thing from the Winter Soldier. Yeah, hey. I saw that. I've, I've written down this. Ha ha ha! We're back with the digital faces again. David, David will be furious. Not once, but twice. <laughs> I quite liked it in this. I quite liked it. Do you know why? Because it's not a new concept anymore. And I've been no. saying for ages. Why does she not use that all the time if she's got this technology? Yeah, so yeah. at least now they're using it again. They haven't forgotten it. But but what was really funny is that Joe hadn't seen. That, that yeah. film so she was like what is going on David I said what do you mean why are they pulling this face off and then turning into another person why is there two black widows now and I went <laughs> Joan it, it's not her is it it's going to be the mum how how she looks exactly like black widow how is that going to be the mum where like, does that well, mesh come from and you're <laughs> like welcome welcome to me about a year ago or whatever yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> welcome to me a few months back when yeah. Uh, yeah yeah no this um it was quite funny watching her reaction to it, going, oh yeah, it's fucking bollocks, isn't it? It is total bullshit. Uh, but there you go, whatever. We, we, we are where we are in these films now, and um, and it was quite funny that it was used twice in this. Yeah. Uh, oh, we're going to see who the Taskmaster is. Oh, fucking hell, it's his daughter. How did I not work that one out? <laughs> so I was actually angry at myself, James, that this... It's understandable, because it's... Yeah, it, I, I don't know. I, I was disappointed with that. I thought it was too much. Okay, Natasha tries to kill Winston, but doesn't have it in her, is what I put. But actually, it's about the scent. It's the pheromones, yeah. It's it's like you can smell yeah. it. And so, you know. I don't know where I sit with that either, to be honest <laughs> with you. Well, they had to have I'll some color. reason, didn't they? There had to be what some. Is, what, I mean, this was released, released in the pandemic. What if she got COVID? She couldn't <laughs> smell him. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, the scene where she is beating, uh, where he's beating, so he co- she goes to attack him, she goes to attack him, she can't, because of, yeah, the pheromones, he can't, um, because, like, her smelling him, then um, he starts just beating the shit out of her. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm really, really uh, uncomfortable with this. I mm-hmm. put, I can't wait for her to beat the shit out of this West Ham supporting mug, because in my <laughs> head, he's still Winston, he can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Looks like there are hundreds of thousands of widows. Uh, Winston controlling all of them from the red room. Yeah, that's grim. The full yeah, that he's, and the whole thing was is he's like you know he's puppet master and he basically yeah. And it's just horrible. There is part of me that goes, how do you get that many though? Well, oh, that's a yeah. lot of people, right? Yeah. Yeah, but how? 
what do you I mean? He was abducting them from all over the place, wasn't he? Yeah, I know, but but hundreds of thousands of women. Just I know, but then he'd also figured out this way to control them as well. So you know, they're just in facilities, aren't they, all over the place? That's and then so he weird. sends them out on things. It's, it's yeah. a weird concept. I don't know if it quite landed. I mean, it it made you go, Ugh, so I mm. suppose it did its job. But at the same time, you know, you think about it for more than a second, you go, oh, <laughs> how did he? So all of them have got a microchip in them as well, are they? I'll tell you what, though. This was also the bit when I was watching it with Chen where she was like, why is he having to reveal his evil plan? Oh, you know, totally, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, and why did he have to say, "Hey, it's because you can smell me"? Yeah, <laughs> that's why you can't get me because you can smell me. Yeah. Okay, uh, right. Yes, mate. Smashing her nose so that she can't smell him. Yeah. That was. I said that's the most badass thing she's ever done. Yeah. <laughs> it was just the way she. The way she did it, I really liked. It's horrible, though, it was, wasn't it? It, was like it was horrible, right but yeah. it worked. It was it was great. Big fight with the widows. Red stuff explodes above them and frees them. Mm-hmm. Um, she gets the data from all the widows while popping her nose back into place. She's the absolute best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that might pop. It wasn't the whole point that she's, she detached a nerve in her yeah, nose. Yeah, that, that's what it was, yeah, so then she so didn't just, smell. Yeah. Just popping her nose yeah, back just, into just place ain't going to sort re- things out, is it? Just re- of course, yeah, it just reattaches the nerve. You know, it's, yeah, it's easy, also, you know? why did she not have black eyes by the end of this film? I've no, well, I have no idea. I mean, yeah, she, <laughs> okay. got, she, got, she got beaten quite badly. Like, she in, did. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, yep. Can't just fall like that and grab onto something. Right, okay. So there's a scene where she's jumping out, or she, she jumps out of a window, doesn't she? Or she gets yeah. blown out of a window. And then she grabs, and she's falling, and then she grabs hold of like a, a, like a rung of a ladder, mm-hmm. and she stops herself. Oh, we, and that was horrible as well. We like, see that in films so many times, right? Yeah. You see that in so many films. That's not possible, right? That's not physically no, because when possible. Because you, when you, like, dis- you dislocate your... Your, your arm would just tear you? off, wouldn't it? Or your I don't know if it would tear off, but it would it would be useless, wouldn't it? Because of the yeah. impact on it. Yeah, because yeah, you're just all that weight just suddenly pulling down on your arm. Yeah. Ugh, it makes me feel sick thinking yeah. about it. I mean, who cares? It's in films, whatever. But like, uh, there is every time I see something like that, I just think that wouldn't happen. That, that wouldn't see, happen. That that is the kind of thing that would happen in the boys, and like the arms would come off. Oh right, they, okay. that's that's the kind of thing that they do. Stop telling me about the boys. I know you really like it, oh, but I'm so not good. So, it's okay, so good. Yeah. fine. Um, right, big fight with the weirdos. Red stuff. It's well, I've done there with this. Uh, right, you can't just fall and grab something like that. That's not possible. It's not a pro- It's not a problem. But it's always something I thought about. Uh, mm-hmm. Escaping. Lots of action, all looks good. There's not much to say here. There's not much in the way of plot or mm-hmm. anything. Then we finally get uh, Natasha versus Minnie Winston um, trying to trying to win her round. So Natasha um, is, yeah, it's more focused in trying to, like she's doing the whole, I know you're in there, which I guess is supposed to be a mirror of what she did with Hulk. Yeah. Yep. You're supposed to draw parallels with that. Mm-hmm. I think so, yeah. I think that was the, okay. the thing there. Yeah. Um, uh, Natasha smashes the vial with the red stuff and seems to have killed the mini Winston. No, she's alive. Uh, right, okay. Family reunion in the ruins. I'm just writing down what happened. This, I mean, this was also, this was the bit that annoyed Chen, though, with the... Go on. With, well, because, okay, so Elena, like, jumps off or falls off or whatever first, right? And she, like, goes plummeting down to That's Earth. right, yep, yep. But then Natasha jumps later, but then catches up with her. Yeah. That's not possible. I think it is possible. I don't think it is. I, like, no, I'm pretty sure certain it is. Because we looked it up, and they were like, it's, it's if two objects fall, then they, they, they can fall reach at, terminal they velocity and they can't get any faster. Yeah. And they can, but that's exactly, assuming yeah. that she hit terminal velocity yeah. at that point of the fall. Where she might still be speeding up, they, they and if she still way, speed up, you can way. speed up faster by making yourself more aerodynamic, right? They were they Isn't were a long way up, you know. I don't know. I, that that was yeah. That I mean, I didn't care, but Chen was like, that doesn't make any sense. That's in yeah. so many films, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It so is. many films where they catch someone up in the air and and save them. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, no, I, I, I guess. Yeah, we don't know. But I'm sure you can because I've seen videos of like skydivers like catching people up and going below well, it them depends it must depend on like the air resistance and everything as well and like yeah exactly so you yeah. if you make yourself more s- slip line slim line yeah. i don't know <laughs> yeah, then you'll go down, it would go down faster wouldn't you it, i yeah. think so yeah Chen. just take take it out with her it's don't just... ruin don't ruin my films <laughs> uh okay um so this is yeah there's the family reunion bit where they're all sort of having a bit of a moment with each other. Natasha yeah. knows that she has to try and get away. Uh, Shield have shown up. Uh, the whistle bit was weird. Right, I've got to ask you about this. Mm-hmm. I've missed something, haven't I? Because at this point, Natasha and her sister whistle at each other. And I put, did they do this at the start of the film or something? I don't remember them whistling at each other. I don't yeah, remember it was that. like a thing. It was like a thing. One of them went... And the other one went, and I was like, what is this? And then they that. do it again later. Really? It happens again later. But I'm thinking, I bet this was right at the start of the film when they were kids. They it were it must have been, yeah, because I, I don't remember that. I mean, I, I was focusing on bioluminescence. So, you know, I didn't. No, that was, yeah, okay. Fine. <laughs> um, Widow returns to the British fella who manages to somehow get her an amazingly cool plane. Where's all this money coming from? That character was weird. That that is think? also that is also another thing that Chen had a problem with. Uh, she was she was like, "Where are they getting the cash for all this? Like yeah. getting all this stuff?" I well, mean, that's, he's, it. that's a multi-million pound aeroplane that he's just sourced. But he his character, he's former Shield, I think it is, and so right. I don't know where he's got it from. But yeah, that's the whole the whole thing. Uh, his his, I mean, there was supposed to be more of a relationship there, I think, than than we see. Rubbish, wasn't it? Yeah. rubbish relationship do yeah. you think he was supposed to be the Q no uh, I think he, he was okay so as I said he was originally with S.H.I.E.L.D. with her and he was into her but she wasn't And but then he he still just does whatever he can to help her so it's a kind of bit like oh, you, I know that feeling mate love in it. I know that feeling every girl in my college mate oh, I've been there yeah I'll get you a, I'll get you a coke <laughs> so you still don't like me you still think I'm weird okay well, is there anything else I can do for you uh, okay and then that's the end um, yeah. Although, I put, yeah yeah we'll come to the post credit scenes I put Harry gave it uh, a 7 out of 10 that's not bad that's, yeah, that's it's pretty bad. Good. it's quite low for him yeah. um, best bit uh, this is Harry's best bit. Um, when the dab was putting on the costume and making the noises when he was doing it. <laughs> right, mm. Okay, thanks, Harry. Um, I put that was decent. The action was some of the best I've seen in these films. The main mm-hmm. characters and cast were superb. I don't think we learned a lot about Black Widow, though, which no. is sort of a shame. It's that... kind of what I thought this film was going to be about. Mm-hmm. That um, I mean, that is that's one of the things I had written down as well was that I felt this did feel still like a missed opportunity because you didn't you didn't really get to see her like confront her past like not really no. or no. And, and like the things that she'd done it was all kind yeah. of like airbrushed over like pretty quickly. It would have is... been nice to see because because you know she dies she's dead now right yeah um it would have been nice to have seen her yeah address these situations and it's the film saying look. She got a lot of closure before she actually died with yeah. her past, which I think would be really important. But there was none of that really. No, not really. She, she, it was a completely separate spy film, and I thought it was decent. But I thought the whole point of this was that it was going to be more embedded into the main overall plot. Yeah. Um, and we were going to learn a lot about Black Widow, but mm-hmm. really, we don't learn anything new that hasn't already been alluded to in previous films, right? No, not really, no. And so, oh, I, we need to get... Okay, once we got to the end of Phase 4, we'll talk about this. Okay. It's, I it's put, but, over, but overall, that was a fun movie, and maybe was... Yeah, maybe it was slightly too long, because it was just mm-hmm. over two hours, and we were thinking, okay, they could have cut things down slightly, I think. Yeah. Um, post-credits. Oh, mate, visiting her grave. Fuck, that got me bad. She whistled again. I must have missed something. It, it, it must be a thing, yeah. I'll, I'll have to look it up. And see, yeah, see it's what it so was. weird. Let me, we better do that now, otherwise we'll Black get... Widow Black Widow Whistling. Black Widow Whistle. What see. is the whistling She does a little whistle. That, that was, was their, their secret, secret signal. signal. Yeah. <laughs> but where did we see it for the first time? And she hears footsteps. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, then it's... it's Okay. Oh, I don't know. 
Okay. Um, uh, the woman from Falcon and the Winter Soldier wants her to, uh, the sister to kill Hawkeye. And, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I guess what's frustrating about this scene for me is that I know that there's a Hawkeye TV show and I'm thinking, oh man, are they putting teasers for TV shows in these films now? Not, not no, because actually this was not... Okay, so these came out in the wrong order um, than what they were intentionally going to be because originally... Um, that was supposed to come first and then this was supposed to come out. So it was supposed to give some sort of like a callback to the TV show, actually. Right. That, oh, that was right. the intention. So but because of COVID, this... it all got, yeah, it, it got gotcha. changed around. But you've, gotcha. you've not seen Hawkeye yet, have you? Obviously. No. Because it's, no. yeah. I mean, you have That's to see later on, isn't it? Yeah, because it's, it honestly, it's good. Like, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Like, out of all Hawkeye. of the... Hawkeye. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. That's what everybody says. But it's a good series. Seriously, it is a good one. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. So what's next? Because I'm so, lost. With we all got... these bloody... F- with all these fucking things coming out, I'm lost. Yeah. What What's next? Well, I mean, we're just going films, aren't we? So next we've no, got... No, we've got to watch the TV series in right orders as well. Okay, because I've so... watched the first three, and I mean I've watched bits of What If, but that don't really count. So you need to watch Hawkeye next, then. No, That's... we don't. Yes, I'll you do. Piss off. Yeah, Hawkeye's good. Honestly, it's good. It's seriously, my kids, right? They hate Hawkeye. Like they absolutely hate his character. But even <laughs> even they were digging this. Like they they thought it was good. Okay, it's got some good characters in it as well. What's it's... after that? Uh, what, TV or film? No, what's up? What do I need to watch after Hawkeye? So you're uh, saying the next thing I need to watch is Hawkeye? Yeah, I mean, no, you don't. I mean, we're still doing films, aren't we? So it's like... We're doing everything. Yeah, I know, but you don't... Mm, I'm just trying... Cause, yeah, but the thing is... Okay, the thing is with Phase 4 is it doesn't really matter a- anymore with this. Like, you can watch this stuff and it doesn't... They don't overlap as much as you think they do, as, as much as they have okay. done before. It's, All right, so thing. so we've kind of set the precedent that we're not covering the TV series, but we will mention them once I've completed them, right? Yeah, and we'll have a little chat about them. See, so the what, next, what, what's what, the next film? Okay, so the next film is Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Right. Okay, this is probably the least excited I am for any of these films because that title sounds horrific. Yeah. It does. The legend, the legend of the Ten Rings. <laughs> Fuck off. But no, this. Okay, so out of the ones that have come out in Phase Four, I think it's one of the better ones. Okay, like, good. I genuinely do. Like, um, yeah. But okay, uh, yeah, good. see, what I would do is I would watch that, and then I'd also then watch Hawkeye. Like, you could just watch that. You know, it's 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 good. It's a good. I don't know. I'm gonna ask go. Harry. I uh, yeah. Okay. Seriously, you've got to give it a chance. It's it's a good it is good, honestly. It's no it's no one no, of the that's great. Ones. The fact that you're saying it's one of the better ones, I'm bang up for it. And I'm gonna yeah. give them all the chance. That's how I am, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um But I, See, it's weird about the so I've got so I've got in front of me the other series I've got uh Hawkeye, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, She Hulk. That yeah. I, I should be watching all of those, should I? Okay, so Moon Knight is not really part of the whole MCU thing. In the I'll same way as the others are, fine. but also okay, don't fine, watch it. that with Harry because it is messed up as well. Right. Like it's, Moon it's that, out. That is, yeah, fine. don't watch that. It's good okay. though; it's really good. Like we, Chen and I, really liked it, but yeah, we wouldn't have watched it with the kids. It's right. um, you know, Hawkeye, but, um, then Ms. Ms. Marvel and She Hulk, which is She Hulk. Yeah, right. Okay, you like She Hulk. Yeah. Okay, shit. All right, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is next. I will try and watch that next week then. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We'll watch that because it's it's. So, wait, so, so, where do you sit with Black Widow the film? Then, what, what are your overall thoughts? I mean, I enjoyed it, but then also it does very much feel like a sort of a standalone thing that didn't feel like it. Like this is the opener for like Phase Four, and yeah. it doesn't feel like it's like creating or building anything at this stage. And what was the so, reaction yeah. when it first came out? Good. It had pretty good reaction. I mean, it wasn't like. Again, it it was a seven out of ten film actually. Like mostly, like people generally liked it, but it's not seen as being like one of the best ones or anything no. at all. It's uh... no, I think I agree with that. Um, I love Scarlett Johansson. Like I, I mean, I liked her before and things that I'd seen her in, but but I think here she's just so good. Mm-hmm. You know, she nails it, and I, I just I like the character. I like where they went with the character. I like. Just, you just, I could just sit watch hours of her fighting. Do you know yeah. what I mean? 
Um, no, it's, it's proper good. It's, I mean, yeah, as a character, she's brilliant. And yeah, I mean, you also, I mean, you'll see, as I said, there's like, there are, because of the, the release order of this, how it was kind of messed up, like, Yelena is in Hawkeye as well. Like, she's in that, and that's right. part of the whole thing. So it's like, yeah, it's, 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 it's good, honestly. It's really good. Okay. Yeah. Watch that. All right. Cool. Well, thank you for joining me in my journey through Phase Four. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just—it's right, just ended as well. Phase four, like we just—I mean, I'm thinking what? about going. Well, it's, it's phase four's just ended. Like the last film's come out from phase four. Really? Yeah, it's it's out like right now, and um, I'm thinking about going to see it this weekend. Oh, this is the uh, Wakanda Forever thing. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I yeah. refused to watch a trailer for that when it came out. Everyone was saying this is one of the best trailers they'd ever seen, and I'm yeah, like, I'm not even near it. I, I'm not. Yeah, I don't want to see anything at all. Yeah, I can't wait to watch that film because I loved. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Ah. Oh. It's going to be so weird, though, because I know there are two new Avengers films, and I'm like, mm-hmm. who the fuck are the Avengers going to be by the time that comes around? Yeah, And am I going to have the same sort of relationship to that mm-hmm. as to what I had to... Oh, to... here's a question. I'm aware that there's a special Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, Holiday I was just special. about to say that. Yeah, that's, that's Can happening. You... Are you watching... I'm assuming you're watching that. I will watch it, yeah, when it comes out. Yeah. Please let me know if I can watch it okay. or if it spoils anything. Because yeah, sure, uh, Harry, sure. will, Harry would love to watch that, yeah, but we're not going to get there by Christmas, I don't think. No, I don't think so. But it's still, yeah, it, I'll, I'll let you know. It, it looks like it's good. Yeah. Cool. All right, then, James. Well, good to speak to you. Hopefully, I'll speak to you sooner rather than later for the next one. Yes. Take care. Goodbye. Bye.